All right, here is another one of the wiggle bugs. This one I call the golden stonefly. So, start off with the back hook. This is a 3X strong number 10 scud hook. Using some yellow colored uh, Danville 210. Tail is these kind of two-tone silicone rubber legs. Pull those off. The way I tie these in, hang off what I want for the one side. Just do one wrap, pull it back, and they usually stick out pretty good uh, for both sides. Sometimes I do a quick figure eight between them to make them um, separate from each other if they want to stick together. And then larva lace for the back hook. I wrap that on the hook so it's even thickness when you wrap it back over the top of itself. Stop one wrap short of the eye or so, because when you finish that off, you can clean up that little tag end by cinching it against the hook. And then I finish this off. Normally I just tie a whole bunch of these before I do the front hook. But what I'm using to join them is this... Uh, Power Pro 65 pound test. Stuff's great for joining nymph size articulated flies. So thread that on there and I trim it off with about uh, three quarters of an inch or so on either side, like that. Let's stick that aside for a second. Second hook, same type of hook. Any short shank hook will kind of work. I like these because it gives it. Yeah, more curve and movement looking stuff. Uh, the eyes, tie in next. This is just a spool of black bead chain, black, uh, three and a half, I think, millimeter. A couple figure eights using the Danville 210. You can really pull on it, so it just takes a few wraps to secure it. And then for the back hook, fold those like that. And you're gonna wanna have that loop be right where the your threads hanging there. Put a few wraps on there and without having to tie a knot and just some good solid wraps with this strong thread you can fold it back on itself is the, the key. And clean it up a little bit and that is incredibly strong. Wing case I use Swiss straw. This is a yellow golden stonish kind of color. So I tie that in on the top so it hangs off the back. This one, I'm going to use these same rubber legs like we use for the tail for the legs. So I lay it kind of on the side of the hook. So I tie it in side by side, so the two legs on that side. And two on this side. This guy's only going to have four legs, he's kind of an amputee, but it's a hell of a lot easier than trying to mess with another set of legs that it's probably not really necessary. So, thorax kind of part of it, I use um, Estaz or Cactus Chenille. And if you'll see, this stuff's kind of wrapped on there so that it kind of um, angles back that way. So you want to tie it in at this tip rather than the other end of this stuff it would be kind of backwards. It wraps a lot nicer if you t tie it by the tip um, with the fibers pointing back that way. Depending on what manufacturer you use, that may or not be as important, but for this particular one, this has some opal um, UV fibers or some crap like that in it. So I tie that on there, and so I'm doing two wraps basically between the legs, so those back legs stick off behind the Estaz, a couple wraps between, and then I fold these legs back and do one final wrap in front, and that'll kind of push your front pair of legs back a little bit. And so will this, when you pull this wing case over. I do one or two wraps behind the eyes, one or two in front of the eyes, fold it back, easy clean finish to the fly, gives a little buggy looking forehead and eyes. Whip finish, and that's it. The jointed golden stone. Do another one here. course can substitute all these materials for something similar and I have 
this stuff in bulk. So if you want to just get enough to tie a few flies and don't want to buy total whole packages of a whole bunch of it, just shoot me a message and I can probably set you up with enough to tie a few. Or if you're having trouble finding any of these particular materials, I got them all. This Power Pro is fairly expensive. I think it's 15 bucks for that big spool, but that's enough to last forever. Well, I've gone through a few, but I tie a lot of flies. Front hook. Recommend using side cutters or something to chop this chain up. And actually a different pair of scissors to cut the power power braid stuff is probably a good idea too. I end up usually just cutting it on the back end of my scissors to hopefully save the other front half because it's pretty tough stuff. This is where you can kind of control how loose this back hook is by how far back you wrap onto this because you don't want it to be so loose that it flops around and can hook itself on the front hook but you still want it to have a little bit of a wiggle so I kind of like to have it like that where it'll basically hold its position by itself but you know you get it in the water and currents and it'll be wiggling around This is pretty good looking in smaller size too, so I'll use like a couple of tw 12 or 14 size hooks and then <clears throat> I have a school of I think 45 pounds uh, Power Pro that's a little easier to thread through those smaller hooks, but same exact recipe, just downsize everything. I think it's a two and millimeter bead chain, maybe the nymph type or uh, midge type larval lace rather than the standard. articulated golden stone. <laughs> 